Please be aware that I do not represent any company. I'm not endorsed by or affiliated with any automotive manufacturer or car dealership. All opinions expressed in this video are my own and all trademarks, logos and brand names are the property of their respective owners. Hey guys, Victor G here. So today we're gonna be installing a custom made 160 degree Fahrenheit thermostat that um, I ordered from Dubai. Uh, the reason for it is uh, my truck apparently is pinging at high RPM under 18 to 20 pounds of boost. So that's one of the ways to keep your uh, internal engine temperatures down uh, is by keeping the coolant temperature down. So the one potential disadvantage is that um, your oil doesn't get warmed up to the proper operating temperature and it might not burn off contaminants as it's supposed to, like moisture and sludge and stuff like that. So uh, I may need to change the oil a little bit more often than usual. And there is a potential for a check engine light to be set because the computer actually monitors uh, coolant temperature uh, to go into a uh, closed loop. So I'll install it and then I'll drive it and see. Uh, one problem is I'm in Canada. So if I were in like Texas or Arizona or somewhere nice and warm like that, it would be a different story. But here we actually use our heater for six to eight months out of the year. So I'll, uh, I'll install it and then I'll see and uh, I'll uh, do a follow up on it, see how it works. So first thing we're gonna do is drain coolant. I'm reusing mine because uh, I just put the motor in like a year ago and it's in essence brand new. Brand new coolant in there. We'll open the drain and uh, drain it into the tub and uh, reuse it later. And then after we do that, we're gonna open the cap here. I already bled the pressure off from the bottom. Alright, and uh, wait for it to drain. While the coolant's draining, we're gonna take this clip and this clip out of here and uh, disconnect this connector and unplug this uh, air injection tube. I don't have to. <laughs> so now that the air injection hoses are disconnected and the wiring's out of the way, uh, we just gotta undo the low radiator hose clip and take the hose off the thermostat housing and then undo these uh, three nuts right there, there's one more below and then the thermostat housing with a built-in thermostat will come right off. Oh, and uh, don't mind the wiring mess, it's just a temporary project I have going on for a couple of days until I sort out what I'm trying to actually do here. So here we have the old thermostat, so it's actually built uh, into the thermostat housing and it cannot be replaced separately, uh, it's one piece assembly. And then here's our custom thermostat housing that was machined down to accept an aftermarket thermostat and here it is it's uh, 68 degrees Celsius which translates to 160 Fahrenheit for our American friends uh, so it's a little bit different setup and uh, we're gonna put it in there and see what happens and there's the housing with the thermostat out of it when installing the thermostat, just make sure this little uh, vent is at the top uh, so that uh, any air can bleed out of the system. So now that the thermostat housing is bolted in, just reassemble everything, hook up the hoses, uh, fill it with coolant and uh, see the results. Last thing is bleeding the coolant, so the trick is you'll know when it's bled when you have the truck idling and you have the heater on high and it's blowing hot air. If it's blowing cold air, it's not bled. And even if you rev it up, it could blow uh, hot air while you're revving it. But then once you let off, uh, it could go back to cold, so then you know there's still air in the system. Driving back home from work, I'm running uh, 81 degrees Celsius coolant temperature, which is about uh, 178 Fahrenheit. And uh, before I was running about 88 to 
90 degree coolant temperature. So we draw 